Hey everybody, welcome to another deck guide and gameplay video. I'm Vags Rule. Today's deck is Bilgewater Swarm with Yorls in Arms. So I've got the deck code down in the description if you'd like to give the deck a shot yourself. And if you're just looking for some gameplay footage, you can head on over to the game number one timestamp. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about the deck, um, how it works, kind of what's included in the deck, um, kind of the general game plan of it, um, kind of a, a nice little brief overview. I'll talk a little about the Mulkin phase as well. Alright, so this deck runs um, Bilgewater as the second region plus Bandal City. And so um, kind of the goal is to take advantage of some of these Bilgewater cards that generate extra units um, and kind of go with the Yordles and Arms strategy plus um, you know Bandal City generating units and kind of getting the multi-region flavor in there as well. So it's kind of a all-in-one um, uh, syner synergistic type of deck with all these units that you can get. Um, so the champions we run are um, kind of a, a three champion split. So we got two of Teemo, one mana, one one with uh, Elusive, and of course the Nexus Strike plants five puff caps. Uh, so he's kind of good as an Elusive attacker. We've got two of Tristana, so three mana, one three with Quick Attack, and then um, she has a really nice synergy with multi-region units where she gains uh, extra attack, and then when you've summoned four plus multi-region allies, she levels up. So very easy to get her leveled up in this deck. We also run uh, two of Poppy, so four mana, two, three with uh, the attack ability that grants all allies with equal or less power than, than her, plus one, plus one. So kind of a good way to buff these um, boards with uh, uh, with Poppy. All right, so the followers we run are two of Blasco and Seedling, two mana, two, two, Fey with uh, play effect, give me barrier or impact or grant me impact. So typically it's, uh, you know, if it's offensive turn, you want to give them impact typically. Um, defense turn barrier to kind of block, but it really just depends. It's a very situation card, very flexible, so sometimes the one or the other will be better for that turn. Um, and it is a multi-region follower, so it triggers with uh, Tristana. Uh, then we play two of Bomber Twins, so two mana, three, two, with uh, ability that when summoned creates a random landmark across two or less in hand, so very nice to generate some little bit of value in your hand that you can um, use a lot of these good landmarks. Um, uh, can be used, or sometimes you just use them as discard fodder, or just kind of keep them in your hand um, as an unknown card for your opponent to deal with. Then we run three of Contrologists, so two mana, two, two, with on play ability, uh, manifest spell from regions that cost three or less. And then, um, excuse me, actually it's a two one now. I forget that this has not been updated. So that's a two one. <laughs> yeah, sorry, this uh, mobile list has not updated their card yet. Um, so just, again, good for generating spells, um, kind of get to pick and choose something that's flexible enough for your game plan of what you need during that turn. All right, uh, next we run uh, three of Morai Wardens, so two mana, two, one from Bilgewater, and then summons a random one-cost follower. So that one-cost follower can also, you know, be of whatever region it is, um, whatever, or, or can be from, excuse me, from any region, so that helps trigger the Yours and Arms, and then Buster Shot as well. All right, and then we run three of Bandle City Mayor, so three mana, two, two, and then it's got a great ability. The first uh, multi-region unit you play each round costs one less, and he also manifests a multi-region follower on play, so very good for getting the multi-region units down. We run two of Aloof Travelers, four mana, two, three. Um, when summoned, you get to draw a card, your opponent draws a card, and they discard their highest cost card, so it helps get rid of some of that removal, some of those big threats from your opponent's hand. And then we also run th three of Yordle Captains, so four mana, four, four, I mean, you summon another ally with equal or less power than me, grant it plus one, plus one. So this helps you get your big units, um, your board units um, buffed up as you after you play them on, once he's on board. And then it also helps, um, you know, it's a good good four mana, four four is a pretty strong uh, unit. So hard to, for opponents to remove um, without using something like a Vengeance. So, so very strong with uh, getting the good board presence going. All right, then we'll move on to the spells. So we've got... Two of group shot, um, so one mana, deal one to the enemy, and if you have four plus allies, deal two instead. So because we're so often going wide and having a wide board, typically we're able to get the, the, the trigger to have it deal two damage. So And it's at fast speed as well, so it's kind of nice. So good removal card, kind of help clear out the, the board a little bit. Then we run uh, two of scrap heap, so one mana burst spell. So play discard one, and then you manifest a mecha yordle. And all the mecha yordles are uh, multi-region, and they're typically pretty strong. Um, for their costs, so just another way to generate units. Um, and one of the things you can do is discard whatever you get from Bomber Twins, 
with that scrap heap. So that's kind of a nice little synergy there in terms of the value you can get. Uh, we're on three of Pokey Sticks. They'll deal one to anything and then draw one. So very versatile card in terms of you can go face, you can go to a unit, and you also get some draw out of it. Uh, three of Double Troubles, another Bilge Water card we run here. So it's summon two random one cost followers. So again, we're looking to get uh, ones from any region so we can help trigger the Buster Shots and the Orals Arms, um, get those effects uh, discounted uh, for the Buster Shot and then uh, improved for the Orals and Arms. All right, and next we run uh, Buster Shot. So uh, deals three to a unit. Um, it is a slow spell. It does cost four at first, but if you've got either Tristana down or if you summoned or played cards from four plus regions, it costs uh, only two. So very good removal spell because um, you're very likely going to get that discount. All right, then we run three of Yordles and Arms. So um, if you summon four regions, excuse me, allies from four plus regions, you get all your allies four plus four this round. Uh, so again, we're very likely to have that trigger. Um, even if you don't have, haven't gotten the trigger, you still get plus two plus two to round. So still can be used there, but typically you want to wait, wait until you've got uh, this to the plus four plus four buff. So that's kind of our main win condition is getting this off on our wide board and then, you know, having either value trades or just straight up winning from there. And we also run one of Treasure Trash. So um, this is kind of just a card. If, if, you, if all else fails, you can kind of throw this and see what you get. Uh, so 10 mana slow spell, fill your hand with random cards, um, they cost zero and are fleeting, and then you can only play three more cards during that round. So, you know, this is kind of your last gasp uh, card to play. Um, you know, kind of as a, yeah, you got nothing else, you need to get something good, you can, you can do some treasure trash, so. All right, so that's the, the deck overall. Um, as far as the Mulligan phase, you're really looking for your uh, cheap units like you know, your Tristimo's good, um, Bomber Twins, Mariah Warden. You do want stuff like Bandle City Mayor as well early on to kind of help generate your units. Um, as far as spells go, like Double Trouble's pretty good early on. Pokey Stick and Group Shot are dependent on if you think you need removal for some of your opponent's stuff. Um, so those can be good. Yours and Arms is also something you can definitely keep if you feel you'll have um, the ability to play it early enough. Um, I definitely don't think there's anything wrong with keeping it in your opening hand because it's so valuable. It's such a good win condition. Um, but you definitely want to try to get at least a two drop, um, you know, in your opening hand or have something like double trouble to where you can play it onto. You don't want to wait too long to start getting your units down because this deck really wants to go start going quite pretty quick, start getting damage in, start building up that board so that you can have, um, you know, your nice yordles and arms. Um, you know, Tristana's typically, you don't want to, play her down until she's either about to level or is already leveled so she's not great for opening hand not horrible but um, she's just very vulnerable even with the quick attack and even with the multi-region buff um, she's very easy to move and your opponent will typically target her so she's kind of one you want to keep safe and then same with poppy you want to kind of make sure poppy is going to be able to come down at a safe time um, and then yordle captain is another one you typically don't want to in your opening hand but it's not the worst thing in the world um, if you do just because you want to get him down on turn four if you can and then start getting your other your buffed units um, past that so one of the nice um, combos you can do is like a Yordle Captain um, plus with on, on turn on round four Yordle Captain with four unit mana and then um, double trouble with three spell mana so if you've got banked up some mana you can kind of get that combo on round four so that's kind of nice um, and then you're yeah you're just looking to get the yordles and arms going. You kind of want to typically play this when you've got at least four units that are going to be buffed for it, and you want to get that plus four plus four. Um, you know sometimes an open tech is better than playing the yordles and arms and letting your opponent get an, an action, especially if they're in a region like Shadow Isles or something that could have like a board wipe um, or frail yord. You know with a with some of their their stuff that they have. Um, but you know it's really something you definitely force your opponent to play around you know they can't just ignore the rose and arms typically so um, it's a very strong card so it's very very good to to kind of throw this out there when you want to put pressure on your opponent all right so that's going to do it for the uh overview let's go ahead and uh, get into some games all right echo action all right uh, let's get a full mulligan there okay Uh, 
pass here. Okay, we can definitely just go into double trouble next turn, I think. Kind of like that. Alright, nice. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, at three or four, so that's pretty nice. Okay. So I think we'll go ahead and uh, keep these back, just so they don't, since they don't trade well with this. Definitely will attack with the, the uh, Sand Soldier because it's ephemeral. Okay. And then Bomber Twins. Actually, we could even just go with another double trouble. We'll see. There's Pokey Stick, okay. Um. Okay. Interesting. So. We'd have to not play anything in order to get this next round. So I think it's too far away. So let's go ahead and do this. That way you can trade with this if he wants to attack in with it. Okay. Okay. Um, I think that's fine with me, getting the loof down. Let's see if we can discard something he wants. Quicksand's the cheap, the most expensive card. Okay, so really cheap hand right now. Okay. So I think we're looking for next turn. I'll still go ahead and attack in. He could have a buff or something to, like a shape stone or something, but I think it's fine. If he uses it here. Okay, he decides not to. Okay. I'll take that for sure. Alright. See, so yeah, I think we're looking for next attack turn. Getting that Yoros and Arms going. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Then we can do double trouble. Um, actually, this could be pretty good too. This is a bit cheaper. We'll go with this one. We can actually both of these down rather than double trouble. Um, yeah, I see no reason to block that. Okay, he might kill this. Oh, okay, interesting, he goes for that. Okay. Okay, so he's... I guess he knows we're going to do some uh, shenanigans with Yorls and Arms. <laughs> okay. So we've got seven mana. So unfortunately we can't do both of these. Um, I still like it. We've got two of these. Let's go ahead and do it now. We've got two of these that spell shield that he can't interact with, so... Alright. Just get in for some damage here. Trade off his board. And we got the next one for next turn anyways, so... Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and bank up the mana here. Rather than spend it on this. You, run from you could have uh, you know, the denial spell from right of negation. He could have that at some point. Could have group shot the pokey stick to kill this. Oh, okay, interesting. There's Echo. 
Well, we definitely gotta kill Echo over action. Alright, let's go ahead and get uh, Tristana down. Alright, I'm gonna do this. That way he can only save one of these. Assume, and this is like, like, he could have a way to kill this, right? But then he doesn't get to save this. Or, yeah, he's getting his only can save one of these basically. Yeah, okay. Interesting he decides to save this. But I guess it does kill Tristana, but now he's got no predict or no draw. Which hey, that's totally cool with me. Alright, let's go ahead and get this down and then get our next Yordles in arms. Drew's right on negation. I guess he's still okay. Wow, he did draw it. Wow. Okay. That's really unfortunate for us that he top decked that. Alright, um Okay, we'll just go in with everything. Do this now. So we'll have that dead. So he survives another round thanks to that. Oh, I guess I should have waited. Ah, oh, that's that was a mistake. I could have gotten the free uh, trigger there. Okay, let's just end the round. Could have gotten her up to a three-three. I just wasn't thinking about that. Okay. Definitely gonna go ahead and. Uh, Wide here, that's pretty good. Yeah, we got him. Nice. Uh -oh. Alright, up against deep. Okay, um, that should be fine. There. Okay. We got our yours and arms. Um, we'll go ahead and get this down. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just attack in. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pass to bank up the mana for double trouble. I know it's not mana efficient, wasting one mana, but I want to get our captain down. Okay, I'll go ahead and block that now. We've got Yours and Arms activated. Don't think we quite want to do it yet, though. Um, how good is his attack? It's not bad. He does get the one. No, he can't even get a value block, really. Um, could go aloof here. I think that's fine. Not us gone. Okay. Alright, um, I could stun that just to get a good attack in. Okay. Well, he's gonna get to deep. 
Oh, he had all four. Wow. <laughs> all three, excuse me. Alright, I guess that works for him. So he is deep now. Okay, still not quite there yet, but he's getting there. Alright, let's go ahead and get Tristana going here. Actually, you know what, let's do this first. Uh, that's probably fine. Yeah, he's got a lot of toss cards, but he's out of actual, like, cards. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, definitely want to get rid of this thing for sure. So I can get a heat block there. Um, I can go here. I think we want to go ahead and kill this as well. Uh, let's just do a frontal assault. That always works. Yeah, that's fine with me. I mean, I don't know if this is keeping that around at one versus this at one. I don't know. It does at least can't get pinged at least so. Alright, let's get uh, Timo down. Okay. Alright, interesting. So... Could have Maokai. Um... I think I want to get this going. And go Yorl's and Arms here. <laughs> Assuming he's going to go Maokai here. Oh no, he's not. Okay. Alright, let's get those norms going. Okay, nice, we got him. <laughs> okay. Alright, up against Thresh A Soul. I think I like keeping this, even though it's not, uh, even though it's a five cost. Um, I think we'll kick that back. Just look for units. Okay. Definitely like getting Mariah Warden down turn two. Okay. Hello, new best friend. And another build water, okay. <laughs> Not great to get another build water because we want to get this, but um, I think we'll be okay. My faith protects me. Okay, so I guess that does stop our attack, unfortunately. Okay, um, I think we're just gonna go with. Just get the panel bomber twins down in case he attacks. Okay. Um let's see if we can find something. That'll be pretty good there. So go ahead and play this to get it activated. Assume he doesn't kill this or something. Okay, so yours and arms is ready to go. I see no reason to even attack in. Couldn't go for like a ruination if he's got it. Okay, he's going for thresh. Sure. Go ahead and play this down now. So he's gonna get a few kills here. But we've got refill. Yes, 
Okay, cool. If he goes Ruination, it doesn't kill this, and we've still got some mana left over. So I think I'm okay with it if he goes with Ruination. We still get in for a decent amount of damage. We'll see what he wants to do here. I don't know if these decks even really run Ruination. Okay, no Ruination. That's nice. Okay. Um, I guess if he's not going to do anything else... Could do this just to clear something out. Clear out a blocker, maybe. <laughs> he probably will get his thresh flipped, but... Uh... So that doesn't stun us, at least. Alright. So Thresh obviously gets flipped here, but... I think we have to try to go for... the lethal. As much as we can here. Yeah. We can just go control just here. I know that it really matters what we do. Um, this could be nice. Soul. Um, do I care about taking 10 damage? I don't think it really matters, honestly. Okay. Yeah, we basically just have to hope he doesn't have Ruination. <laughs> but if he does, we can at least get his a kill on this. So I think we have to do another Yorls in Arms. Okay. He could have the... You know, he could get the <coughs> killer thing with three or less. Uh, three or less power. He could do that. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to go for it and just hope we can push through enough damage, I think. We can use this to get around some of his... hits, but... Uh, some of his pings, I guess. Okay. Let's see what he's got here. If he goes Ruination, we definitely can kill this still. do this while we have the chance. Down to 13. 
14. So it does save him if he's got uh, a heal here. Oh, he's going atrocity. Okay, yeah, we can't beat that. <laughs> Alright. Alright, up against Action Echo. Do you like keeping the captain? I think that's fine. Um, I'll go ahead and do impact. I'll let him get in for for two here. Let's go ahead and get the mayor down. Um, that could be nice for uh. A little bit later. We're not taking. We're okay. taking it. We'll pass here. Things aren't gonna improve themselves. Couldn't go for this, honestly, now. <laughs> it's so big. I my own stunts. Robin Blind. Okay. He's showing like he's got shape stone. I don't know if I necessarily believe him, but I don't want to take the risk, right? Yeah, it's too risky to block here. Could just block this, like this. Just take a little bit less damage. Very easy for him to shape stone. Oh, okay. Or scrying sands, sure. So, now the question is, do we go with, I think we go Yordle Captain into Bomber Twins, and then we just, we can start attacking in. Um, yeah, I'm fine with passing here, I think. I think I have to. Let's see what he does. He's still got a little couple predicts away from being able to do that, so. Okay. Alright, so now he just needs one more predict. Let's see. If he doesn't... Okay, he's got it there. So assume that means he's just gonna attack in right now. Okay, we don't have yours in arms, so that's the one major downside to this right here. Okay. Okay, interesting. He's going for the Absolver. I guess it just keep it alive. Alright. So we've got seven mana, go three. Yeah, okay. Looking splendid, sir. Very may you roll. You know what that 
Definitely want to kill this Echo before he can do a revive. Could have shape stones, so I guess we need to. Never mind. Oh, nice. Um, Poppy's not even that great on this board, is she? I think we're just going to attack him with everything. Quicksand here, maybe? Oh, okay. Alright, um, well, we're pretty low. Alright, I think I'm gonna get down. Poppy's again not that great on this board. Um, Hello, anyone want to join my party? Don't want to. No, let's let's keep the pokey stick back. Echo. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. Don't worry, a quest is the best way to find a hero. So he's got another absolver, I think he wins no matter what, right? So I think we have to go with our biggest things and just hope somehow, some way. He doesn't have absolver. So they can get up to nine. Yeah, I think this is what we have to do here. So no absolver, at least not yet. Um, just your best, okay? Let's see if he's got a rally plus absolver. That's what we're worried about. Rally and absolver. So he's got the rally, sure. Does he have the absolver? Let me, uh... Let's see if I can maybe draw into group shot or something? Let me do this. Okay, no group shot. Alright, so yeah, again, we have to go f against Rally here. Or, er, excuse me, Zolver. So that's the only way we're surviving this. So we'll see what he's got. He could have another Rally, I guess. But if he does, then he's not getting Absolver, so. Could go with Barrier, actually, in case he tries to do another Rally here. We've got some that can at least block it. We'll see. Okay. 
Yeah, so he does have another Chrono Brick. Sure. Alright, let's just attack in with everything. Oh, I shouldn't maybe have not attacked in with one of these. But this is a fearsome, so you can't even block that one. Not that he was going to, but... Oh, okay. So he stops a little bit of damage, but that's it. Nice, we got him! <laughs> No yours and arms, and we still end up pulling it out, though. Very nice. Alright, so that's uh, this Bilgewater Swarm yours and arms deck. Um, I think it's pretty good overall. You know, I don't know if it's necessarily the best version, but it's kind of nice to play a little bit differently, you know, with this, the whole yours and arms archetype. Um, you know, Double Trouble and Murray Warden definitely help you uh, get your. Buster Shot and your Jewels and Arms online. Um, you know, Poppy does take, or excuse me, um, Tristan does take a little bit longer because you're not gu guaranteed to get a multi region unit, right? Um, but you do get um, that Jewels and Arms online really quickly. So um, it's definitely a fun deck. I think it's pretty strong overall. You know, a lot of good aggression. Um, you know, can win a lot of games. So definitely give the deck a shot and uh, let me know how it goes for you. That's going to do it for this video. We'll see you next time.